Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and change your DNS servers and stuff like that. So it's quite easy to do it basically and let's just start off. So first of all what you want to do is you want to go over to settings. And on settings you want to go over to network. And on here what you want to do is you just want to go to settings. And on here go over to set up internet connection. So on here you want to select your internet that you're using <clears throat> your internet that you're using. So basically I am using this one. And now go over to advanced settings. On here, what you want to do is you want to go to DNS settings and you want to click on manual. So on yours it will look like this, but if you click on manual, you will get all of the DNS codes like you see. And that's pretty cool. So I'm going to show some couple DNS codes. So it's quite cool. And let's just go ahead and show you guys. So first one is this one. You can just pause the video if you want to. This works pretty great for me. Maybe it will also for you. So you can just pause the video and let's go to the next DNS. Here we go, the first one. Let's go to the secondary. And also guys, if some of the DNS codes don't work out for you, it could be your location and stuff like that. So if you have some internet problems while doing this, I suggest you guys to get a ethernet cable. So I suggest you guys really to get a ethernet cable because it's way better than DNS. If you want to use that, if you have access to it, and if you don't have that, it's like one or two bucks, maybe max, and it works really great. So here you can just copy it and pause the video. Let's go to the next one. Some of them I have it like remembered in my head just by using them so much. So it's also great to use a DNS code just because once you are like for example any GTA 5 online lobby and it glitches out, everyone goes left and stuff like that, you can just fix it by changing your DNS code. That's what I try always and it works pretty great. Here you go. And now let's go to the DNS codes that are always used and almost everybody knows these but if you don't know here I enter it and here you go this is the DNS code that almost everybody uses and it works pretty great like let me tell you it works pretty great but for me, a other DNS code works a bit better for me but you can also try this one also out. So let's go to the next one, and this one works the best for me. You might know this one. If you do know some of these DNS codes, just comment down below. So here we go, and this is also a pretty great DNS code. And also guys, I'm going to show you how you can test out if the DNS codes actually work great for you. So I'm going to show you how you can do that and how you can see if they actually work great. So let's go to the next DNS code. This one is a bit longer. And guys, if I enter maybe accidentally a DNS code twice, that's my fault and don't mind that because sometimes I just confuse it. So here you go and guys you don't really have to worry about if I'm entering it wrong or something like that because if I enter it wrong it will just not pass through. So let me so you can just pause the video if you want to. So let me just change something about the DNS codes or like this 
it will actually say like it's not entered or something like that or if i just click on ok it will just give like a weird error or something like that so that's how you can just know that your dns code is wrong or something like that so let's go to the next one it was actually 56 yes and 26 all right and here we go you can just pause the video And on the ending, I'm going to show you how you can just go ahead and test out. So on here, I think I didn't really use this one, but this one also works pretty great. Let me show you guys. It was actually 29. Or it was 28. Yes, it was 28. And yes, okay. This DNS code works also pretty great. You can try this one out. So my suggestions are this DNS code that I'm showing right now, 8doc8doc8, ATAC, ATAC8, and also 1doc1doc1. One one one. Those work the best. And here you go, the next DNS. So let's go to the next one. And this one is a bit no it's actually the same there you go and six And keep in mind guys these look like the same but they are not the same like on the primary dns you have 70 like you see and on the secondary dns you have 71 so remember that the dns codes are never the same some people make like a mistake it looks the same but it's not the same and just enter the primary dns to the secondary dns and it doesn't work so just keep in mind and let's go to the last DNS code that I'm going to show you guys. And that one is going to be this one. 156 dark. What for? I actually did enter that one. Or no, I didn't because it's this one was with a three in the end. And let's go to the next one. This one is with a 73. Or no, it was with a 71 with a three in the end. Yes, okay. So this is the last DNS code that I want to show you guys and you can just pause the video if you want to. And now let's just click on OK. And now it will just test out. Just let them and you will see. So like you see it worked pretty great and now what we can do is we can go to connection status and on here go to test internet connection. Start and now what you can do basically is you can see how much connection speed download and connection speed upload you have my suggestions guys is you have to have at least about 20 uh connection speed uploads i mean i mean um downloads yes it was a connection speed download i suggest about 20 mbps because that will pretty much give you no lag at all so you can just play on some games without any lag so 20 mbps is pretty much enough but if you have more than 20 it's pretty great 
For my, for example, my internet service gives about maximum amount of 50 Mbps, but yours maybe gives about 100, 500, maybe about a thousand. It just matters on which location that you're from. If you're like from California, you will get maybe thousands of Mbps, but if you're like in a village, you will maybe get about 50 Mbps. So it's also the location and also the internet service. If you pay about a hundred per month, you will get maybe a thousand, but if you pay like 20, you will maybe get about 50 Mbps. So like you see, my internet connection is pretty good. I can play a lot of games without any lag at all. And also guys, like I said, try all of the DNS code out and test your internet connection so you can actually see which DNS code works the greatest for you. And that's basically it that I want to tell you. So this is pretty much enough. And like I said, guys, connection speed download is the most important one. If you get that about up to a 20, that's pretty much enough. So let's just go ahead and go back. And what you can also do guys is you can go to my profile and just add me. So thanks for watching guys. You can follow me at Twitter and Instagram. I will leave a link in the description down below. And also don't forget to like and subscribe. And also guys comment down below when did you get your PS5. And also comment down below which DNS code works best for you. Goodbye guys.